Okay, now page 24 in your notes, we're going to go over. This is practice for quiz 3A. You will notice that the four problems on the top came directly from your quick 6 or quick 12, I forget what it was, but came from the quick assessment. Okay, and I gave you other problems just like it. So let's look underneath number 1 and we're going to do negative 4 minus x equals 3. Okay, now people get confused by this because it's minus x and you have to realize you kind of have to ignore the negative x because what you want to get rid of on the left hand side is the negative 4. What can we add to negative 4 to make it zero out? We would add positive 4. So you add positive 4 here, they cancel out, and you have negative x equals 7. Now, there's different ways of approaching from here. You can think of this and say, well, if the opposite of x is 7, then regular x is the opposite of 7. That would be completely correct. Or you could say, this is really negative 1x. So I'm going to divide this side by negative 1, this side by negative 1. That cancels out and we just get x equals 7 divided by negative 1, which is negative 7. Okay, and finally, you could say this is negative 1x equals 7. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 because a negative times a negative is a positive, and you would get negative 7 that way. Okay, but either way, you get negative 7. Now, go ahead and try the next one on your own. Stop the video and turn it on to watch me do it again. So we have negative 7 minus x equals negative 2. I'm going to cover up the negative x because I don't want to think automatically that you just add 7. I'm going to think about it. So if it's a negative 7, I want to zero it out. I'm going to add 7 and add 7 here, and I get negative x equals 5. So again, I could divide by negative 1 and divide by negative 1, x equals negative 5. Or I could just think if the opposite of x is positive 5, then regular x is negative 5. Okay? Now, let's look at number 2. We have 3 fifths times n plus 2 equals 7. Now I'm going to follow the SADMAP rule. And the SADMAP rule says to undo an equation, first we do addition and subtraction, division and multiplication, and last step parentheses. So I look for an opportunity to add or subtract, and n is being multiplied by 3 fifths, but it's being added by 2. So I'm going to undo addition first. So I get 3 fifths n equals 5. Now, to get rid of 3 fifths and turn that into 1, I multiply it by its inverse. So 5 thirds times 3 fifths, this cancels out, I'm left with n. If I multiply the left by 5 thirds, I have to multiply the right by 5 thirds. I multiply across the top and across the bottom. You can leave your answer as 25 thirds. Okay, so now go ahead and stop the tape. Try to do the next one on your own. And then start it again when you're done. Now, two operations are going on, multiplication and subtraction. I'm going to undo subtraction first because of SADMEP, so I'm going to add 5 first. And I get 2 thirds x equals 22. I'm going to multiply by the inverse because these all cancel out. If I multiply this side, I have to multiply this side. Now I can apply the cross simplification rule, the superpower, so that becomes 11 and x equals 33. Okay, and now moving on to the next one, we have 3 fifths minus x equals 2 thirds. Okay, so nobody likes the fractions, that's the problem here. 
It's a negative x, but we ignore that for now. We want to get rid of 3 fifths, so we subtract 3 fifths from both sides. So that goes away. So now we have negative x equals, what's the problem with subtracting 3 fifths from 2 thirds? The problem is I need a common denominator. So between 3 and 5, the common denominator is 15. 5 goes into 15 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, and I'm subtracting that. 3 goes into 15 5 times, and this becomes a 10. So now I'm doing 10 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths, and I get a positive 1 fifteenth. But if negative x, or the opposite of x is 1 15th, x would be negative 1 15th. Or you can divide both sides by um, negative 1. Okay, so again, stop the video and you try the next one on your own. Turn it back on when you're done, and let's see if we agree. So x plus 2 thirds equals 5 sevenths. I'm going to subtract 2 thirds, subtract 2 thirds. Get a common denominator, common denominators. That's 14, that's 15. 15 minus 14 is 121. So x equals 1 over 21. Okay? Now, for these last two, we have n plus 2 over 4 equals 5. So whenever you see an expression in a fraction, we put parentheses there to protect it. And if we think of sad map, the last thing we undo is parentheses. So that means here we think of the n being involved in parentheses and being divided by 4. So the first thing we undo is dividing by 4. We undo dividing by 4 by multiplying by 4. When we multiply by 4, these cancel out. Now be careful, you don't distribute, because this 4 is just going to cancel out with this 4. We get n plus 2 equals 20, subtract 2, n equals 18. Okay? So again, stop the video and try to do the next one on your own. The first thing we're going to do is put parentheses around the expression. We're going to realize that x minus 3 is in the parentheses and then divided by 3. So we're going to undo the division first. We're going to undo division by multiplying. We're not going to distribute because this is crossing out this. I'm going to remember to multiply both sides. x minus 3 equals 27 plus 3 plus 3. x equals 30. Okay? So, now, if you need extra practice for these types of problems, okay, page Page 20, page 19 and 20, no, sorry, just page 20 has that particular type of problem, okay? But this whole packet is not that big. You should be able to find practice problems. And that's the end of the video.